what is going on everybody my name is jc and welcome to another episode of omega outdoors a channel that brings you outdoor adventure i gotta be honest it's been a rough couple weeks i really haven't had a lot of time to do much outdoors i've just been super busy around the house and with work and stuff so you know we got priorities um today i woke up and just kind of felt like i needed a break you ever had those times where you just you just need to get away from everything for a few minutes and just kind of just hang out so it's kind of one of those days what honestly what i thought about was my grandfather when he taught me how to fish and we'd go out there sometimes and just grab a couple rods and a hook and some bobbers and a little bucket of worms and we'd have that sometimes he wouldn't even bring a rod he used to have a coke bottle that he'd wrap up some sewing string with a hook and a small weight and he'd throw that out there and that's how he'd fish sometimes so that's kind of what we're doing here today um, i'm keeping it real simple real lightweight stuff and just kind of find a reason to hang out and enjoy outside so i'm a little concerned that it's cold today it's 35 degrees uh we'd been raining for the past week so the water level at the river is a little bit higher than i would like which means the fish are probably going to be all real deep um but either way we're going to give it a shot so let's see what's up i got a couple of setups here my first setup is this berkeley lightning rod it's a five foot six light action i got like these little crappy lures on it um some four pound test and i have a shimano sienna 500 uh, as a reel so it's kind of just like a little backup rod you know if the worms aren't working just give me something else to do um but i'm probably not going to use this one too much what i really want to focus on is the worms I got this little ugly stick GX2. It's a four foot eight ultra light. I got two pound tests on here and a small mosquito hook. So I'm gonna try first is, is free lining it. Um, just to kind of see how this works out. I think a natural presentation, especially when it's cold out, really makes a difference. That's pretty much it. I'm going to hook them right there. I could probably even cut them in half. But I'm going to try a whole one first. Let's see how that works out. I am not going shallow today. I am going as deep as I can get it. Hey, look. I ah, got one. Yeah, buddy. Come up here. Oh, yeah. That's a bluegill, baby. Free line on the worm. Letting it float down. This is a pretty nice size one, so I'm going to keep this guy. So I, I changed up hooks. I changed up hooks because the mosquito hook I was using, I missed a couple bites. Um, so I'm using just a regular panfish hook. And I'm going to keep using the entire worm. Because that kind of flutters down when you throw it and you're free lining it like this. So you just put the hook into the tip and it flutters down and it kind of like you know it looks more natural um if it was warmer i'm pretty sure that they would still eat the little pieces like a half a piece or whatever but i don't know if you can see that but it kind of just flutters down and i'm letting it sink down to the bottom so i caught that one kind of underneath the bridge just let it free line down there and see if something grabs it you can tell when something hits it because the line goes taut you know, it's it's really, really soft line. Like I said, it's only two pound test, so uh, I think someone's got it right now. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> it's a nice size one too. Whew. See, there you go. Man, these are some slabs though. Look at this guy. 
That is a ginormous <laughs> bluegill. Look at that. That's a huge one. I'm telling you, man, that worm, free line on that worm works so well. Put this guy in the bucket with the other guy. Whew. Keep him lively. Because I am going to have some lunch. Let's hook this one again. The thing about cold weather fishing, like when you're fishing on a day or two, like, it's cold out. It's, it's, it's 35 degrees out today. Uh, is that bluegill panfish, they tend to congregate in one spot. When you find one, you normally find a few of them. Um, as you can see, like where I was casting in the spot right here, it's literally the same spot. Finding them in the same exact spot because they school. They're real lethargic when it's cold out like that, like it is today. So if you can find a spot where there's one, you're probably going to find another one. So I came to one of my favorite little stretches of river. It's got a little park next to it. It's a nice place to just kind of hang out and, and have some quiet time. So uh, I'm gonna cook up these bluegill right here next to the river. I'm actually really hungry and really excited about this. I've never done this before. So it's kind of cool, like my own little private little picnic. So um, I got the two bluegill that I caught and I brought a couple of things. I really want to taste what the bluegill tastes like. So I don't want to, put too many ingredients in if that makes any sense so i got some uh, some unsalted butter i got a little bit of onion and some salt and pepper and that should be pretty simple so i'm going to clean everything and get it all on the pan so let's get started I'm... let's get these guys out of here start with the big one and he's still lively got my little Gerber hatchet here Pretty that guy is. Pretty little fish. <laughs> All right, so here's a something I learned is the bluegill is really hard to fillet <laughs> and I made the mistake of trying to fillet the, the, the bigger one um, which is why it's only half and uh, it didn't work out <laughs> it did not work out so I kept the other one whole like this and uh, all I did was scale it so let's whew. Yeah, baby. Let that melt up. There's some onion in that. Whew. That was pretty cool. Oh, what the hey. Butter hasn't killed anyone, has it? <laughs> so 
So while that's gone, I'm gonna salt and pepper the fish. It's a little bit of seasoning. so good <laughs> that's gonna be so delicious <laughs> if you can smell this butter and these onions man it's gonna be so good guys I'm gonna take these off the heat but, uh, whew, man oh man would you look at that that looks <laughs> that looks so amazing <laughs> that looks so amazing I'm not gonna lie I, I'm gonna eat these right out of here so all right So this is my first little spoonful of bluegill. Um, like I said, I've never had this before, so. Ooh, that chunk. Whew, so hot. That's pretty delicious. <laughs> so tasting take two. I know it's got a really light flavor. And I'm glad that I didn't put too much stuff in it because I can really taste the fish and it's really light and flaky and soft. So uh, this is really good. <laughs> this is really good. This is really, really good. And that butter kind of gives it a nice, you know, kind of kick. Um, it really doesn't need a whole lot, to be honest. It doesn't need a whole bunch really just a salt and pepper and some butter and the onions was kind of just an added bonus but uh really you could just salt and pepper these up and fry them up these are really good so so i'm gonna sit here and enjoy my lunch uh thank you guys for coming along and hanging out with me today you know i really just needed a day where i came out and hung out and just kind of relaxed a little bit and uh chilled by myself so appreciate you guys watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, we'll see you in the next one. All right, y'all. Peace.